Hey everyone, it's Taylor. This tutorial today is a spiking tutorial. Um, I am still working on Bond from the Seven Deadly Sins, but this tutorial really could be used for any of your spiky boys from any anime or whatever you need to style from a spiky boy. So here we go. So what you'll need are a teasing comb, got to be glued hairspray, a hair dryer with or without the additional attachments, a comb with or without the spiky tip. I like the spiky tip though. Thinning shears and regular scissors, and some fabric glue. This is the brand I use. So let's get started. I start out with teasing using that comb I showed you in the beginning. It's got boar hair fiber at the bottom and then a plastic fiber that extends past it. Now with teasing, I comb down a few times and then in the direction of the spike. So for the bangs, I combed towards myself. For the spikes, I comb up. And you can see that I'm not really worried about what it looks like right now because you're really just mapping out where the spikes are going to be and figuring out how much wig fiber is needed for each of those little spikes. You can kind of make it real messy. You could just tease the whole wig and then start to refine. And now we're moving into the refinement of the bangs. So you start to comb out the teasing, but only gently, and you use that got to be glued hairspray to start to set the final structure. And after each time that you use your got to be glued, you want to blow dry just to set it and to dry it pretty quickly. It's going to be a lot of combing out teasing and combing out hairspray and then re-teasing and re-hairspraying and then blow drying. And so I really left in the entire process of the bangs, not to bore you to death, but so that when you start to work on this project yourself and you're spiking, you don't get hung up on how long it's taking you to get a spike done. I found with this wig it took me about 10 to 20 minutes per spike before I was satisfied with what it looked like. So don't get hung up on how long it's taking you. Keep redoing it until you're happy. Check it from every angle. Look and make sure you like the length of it, that you like the shape of it, and that there's not a lot of ugly fibers knotted up at the base of it. So you can see here that I even took out a spike from behind the bangs because I wanted to add more volume to the bang. So I'm combing out the teasing here and I'm laying it into the bang structure that I had already set up. From there, it'll be more hairspray, more combing, more teasing, a little bit more crying probably, like maybe a lot more crying. But again, always hair drying. Don't get hung up in what it looks like now. All wigs start out ugly before they look beautiful. Clip that in place and then get started on the next spike. And from there, basically everything else is the same. It's just a matter of checking your reference image and sectioning off the pieces that you're going to turn into a spike. You comb out the superficial level of teasing so that you can get a nice, clean looking spike. Pinch the top of the spike where you want it to be its maximum height, and then thin up and away from the top of the spike. That way you remove a lot of the weight and the spike is able to stand up on its own. Once you've got that first spike blocked in, do a little dance and then keep finishing it. I've sectioned off the front so that I can tease the main structure of this spike. By teasing the main structure and like sectioning off the front piece, I can really easily make the front hairline look super clean. Teasing creates tiny little knots, and when you create those knots at the hairline, it makes it look really messy. So you section off clean, unteased pieces of wig fiber to comb up into the teased section of the spike. That way you have the body and you have the structure, but you don't have the messy looking knots down at your forehead because that'll be the first thing people can see when they're looking at you. So from there, you're gonna spray in the nice, clean, unteased fibers, blow dry it into place, and there you have it, one spike. He's way too tall, but this is not the finished product. To get that spike finished, what you're gonna do is go in with your regular scissors and cut downwards into the spike, just further removing some of the bulk. You don't wanna cut straight across because that blunts the edge and it doesn't look natural. So you can see I just keep turning the fibers. I'm using my thinning shears and regular scissors. I like to thin off the edges especially and create more of like a gradual incline to the top of the spike by thinning the sides but leaving the middle long. From there, I thin down, 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 getting to the point of the spike that I like the length of it. With this character especially, the front of his hair is shorter than the back of his hair. So to create that, I'm going pretty short with the front hairline spikes. 
but you're gonna just keep thinning them out and using your regular shears to cut down into the spike. Again, more teasing, more combing, more hairspray, more blow drying. Be patient, cry as much as you need, take breaks when you need it, rehydrate my little babies, and then come back to look at it when you're rested because sometimes it looks terrible when you're not rested and then you come back and it looks just fine when you have slept and you've eaten and you have enough water in you. So please make sure you're taking care of yourself and drink water and nap because the spikes, it's gonna be fine and it's all gonna work itself out. Look at this beauty. Here's me trying it on. Oh my God, here we go. This is not the final product. We still have to do the tips. So I take my fabric glue. Again, I use the clear one because it dries a little bit easier, a little bit clearer. I pinch it in between my thumb and pointer finger and I just put it on the very, very tips of the hair, at the very tips of the spike. That way it seals it together and there's less of a chance that it's going to get messed up when you're packing it to travel with it for a con or something. So it really just gives that final oomph to squeeze the tips of the frickin' spikes together. You go in with scissors, you clean up the mess in between them, and here is just the makeup stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to see what it looked like. It's for a client. It's not even for me, but I wanted to see what it looked like when it was put on. So I've covered up my eyebrows and I'm going into contour with some dark brown eyeshadow. I'm not really good at this boy makeup thing. There's so many other cosplayers you can check out that have boy makeup tutorials or they're just, you know, like good at it. I learned most of what I know about makeup from watching drag queens, so I also really recommend checking out some drag queen tutorials, even if you're a man. Well, actually, especially if you're a man, because that's it, like specifically who's doing it. So like, if you want some good makeup tips, I would definitely check them out instead of coming to me. I just kind of guess, and I also follow makeup tutorials from YouTube in order to do any of the stuff I do. So definitely check out some other awesome makeup artists, drag queens, cosplayers. I'll link some of the other cosplayers down below. I learned from watching tutorials, so the people that I've specifically learned the most from, I'm gonna put them in the little boxy down below here. But, you know, at the end of this you'll see my makeup test. I just really appreciate you guys watching, and if you have any questions, please absolutely feel free to send me a message. You can comment below with questions and I'll do my best to answer. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it well enough, subscribe because I will be making more of these. But in the meantime, I really appreciate you guys. Special shout out to my Patreon patrons who, you know, help fund my crazy endeavors. But thanks guys, good luck, and tag me in anything you use my tutorial for. I don't want to take credit for it, but I just want to see it because I'm so excited for you guys to get started on your cosplay journey. I appreciate you guys. Take care. I love you. Until next time.